In this video, I want to show you the differences between Windows 10 Home and Windows 10 Pro so to help you choose the edition of Windows that is the most suitable for you. First, let's start with the system requirements. Both Windows editions require the same system requirements, so there are no differences here. Let's see now the pricing. At the time of this video, the retail prices on Microsoft site are Windows 10 Home $139 US and Windows 10 Pro $200 US. Of course, you may find other resellers with cheaper prices. So let's start now with the security functionalities that are available on Windows 10 Pro and not available on Windows 10 Home. The first one is BitLocker Device Encryption. What BitLocker Device Encryption does is that it protects your data by encrypting it while it is offline in case your device is stolen or lost. The option, as you see, doesn't even exist in Windows 10 Home and it is easily accessible in Windows 10 Pro. If you want to know more about BitLocker, I made two detailed videos that I put the link for in the description. One is for BitLocker for system drives and one is for BitLocker to go, which is for external storage. The second difference security-wise is encrypting file system. So encrypting file system doesn't exist on Windows 10 Home, but it is available on Windows 10 Pro. EFS lets you selectively encrypt individual files or folders using a certificate. This option is grayed out as you notice in Windows 10 Home, and of course it is available as I said before in Windows 10 Pro. It is very useful to protect your data online in case someone tries to access it illicitly. If you want to know more about encrypting file system, please check my video in the description in it, I explain in details how to use EFS and how to configure it. The third security function that is available in Windows 10 Pro and it is not available in Windows 10 Home is Windows Information Protection. WIP is a function used mainly in the enterprises to separate personal data and apps from business data and apps. But it needs a device management platform so to configure it like Intune or Configuration Manager. In short, if you are installing Windows 10 on a personal PC at home, you will not need WIP. Now, let's see other functionalities that are mostly required in an enterprise environment and that are only available on Windows 10 Pro and of course not available on Windows 10 Home. The most important ones and the ones you may also need at home are First, Kiosk Mode. Kiosk Mode locks down a Windows 10 PC so that it can only run one application. This is useful, for instance, if you have visitors and you only want to give them access, let's say, for internet browsing only. As you notice, if I go into Accounts and Settings under Family and Other Users, Kiosk Mode is not available in Windows 10 Home, whereas it is available in Windows 10 Pro. If you want to know more about kiosk mode, please take a look at my video in the description where I explain in details how kiosk mode works and how to configure it. The next functionality is Hyper-V. Hyper-V is a feature that lets you run persistent virtual machines on top of Windows 10. You can run many types of operating systems. For example, you can run many Linux flavors or Windows OS versions. As you notice, the Hyper-V feature is missing from Windows Home. If you want to know how to configure Hyper-V, you can look at my video in the description that explains to you in details how to do this. Also, I have included some links to other videos that I've made where I explain how to run Linux systems and Windows systems on Hyper-V. Another important functionality is Windows Sandbox. Windows Sandbox lets you spin on the fly a disposable Windows 10 machine where you can test different programs. It is completely isolated from your operating system, but it has some limitations, like for instance you cannot restart it without losing the files or the applications that you installed on it, because it will be wiped and recreated. As you notice, the Windows Sandbox feature is missing from Windows Home. 
If you want to know more on Windows Sandbox, you can look at my video in the description where I explain in details how to enable and configure Windows Sandbox on a Windows 10 machine. The next function is Group Policies. Even though you rarely use Group Policies at home, sometimes you need to change advanced settings in Windows that are only found in Group Policies. An example would be if you want to configure the new Microsoft Edge to run side by side with the old one. Group Policies let you do this easily instead of editing the registry directly. You can see the example in the description on a video I made on this topic. So as you notice here, if I go to the search box and I type in group, I see group policies in Windows 10 Pro, but in Windows 10 Home, it doesn't exist. Now the remaining functions that are available only on Windows 10 Pro, and most likely you will never need them at home, are very quickly. First, mobile device management, and this is to manage Windows 10 remotely. Second, enterprise state roaming with Azure. This provides unified experience for users if they change devices across the enterprise. Third, Microsoft Store for Business. It will allow you to distribute custom applications. Fourth, assigned access. This will tailor Windows 10 device to each logged in user. Fifth, dynamic provisioning. This is to facilitate auto configuration for out of box PCs. Six, Windows Update for Business. This is to manage updates roll up. And the last one is support for Active Directory and support for Azure Active Directory. This will assign the Windows 10 device to Active Directory to be managed dynamically. I hope that I shed a little bit of light on the differences between Home and Pro, so to help you decide on which edition of Windows you're gonna install on your PC.